recruit, and welcome to Astroneer Academy 405 Achievements 3. Before we begin today's course, we need to talk about the two previous achievements courses. Specifically, we need to address our security protocol failures that allowed Please Shibe to hack his way into our systems and take over the videos. While we at the Astroneer Academy certainly appreciate his, um, unique presentation style, we simply cannot tolerate these network breaches. So, we have hardened our network security to ensure that we cannot be hacked again. There is absolutely, positively, no way Please Shive can hack his way in for a third time. Except for the fact that I can. I'm back again. God, do you think your system is good enough to beat me? The guy who incorrectly measured these planets using myself as a ruler? Okay, okay, enough of that outburst. I'm back, as you can see. So without further ado, let's get to it before they kick me out again. Today, we're going to be taking a look at... The final 18 achievements you can unlock as an Astroneer, plus the suits, palettes, and visors that go along with them. And if that wasn't enough, we'll even teach you some slick new dance moves as you unlock several of the following achievements. I have to warn you, there are a lot of spoilers ahead, so proceed with caution. Let's get started. 1. Information Dump Okay, research nerds, either build a bunch of research chambers or find some research objects with a high bitrate, because you need to reach more than 150 bytes per minute of concurrent research for this one. Two. Shapes and other shapes. Find a gateway chamber. Easy, unless you slept through Ashneer Academy 205, and if you did, see me after class. 3. First step into a larger world. Solve a gateway chamber. Again, easy, because you definitely paid attention during Ashneer Academy 205. 4. Secrets of the Universe. Okay, this one takes a bit of work. You need to solve all of the gateway chambers, and by all, I mean all, and by solve, I mean plug in a lot of power and wait 30 seconds, and then do it again 33 times. If you need help, check out the pro tip at the end of 205. Five, encounter with the infinite. Get your drill ready and dig deep into the core of any planet to find a gateway engine in order to lock this achievement. Six, Silva awakened. Step one. Dig deep into the core of Silva. Step two, put some quartz into one of those platform thingies. Step three. Step four, profit, because you just solved the gateway engine on Silva. You'll also unlock the Terran suit with this achievement, along with the Silva palette and the Bank Sway emote dance. Like I said, profit. Seven, Desilo Awakened. Repeat the steps from the last achievement, but this time use some zinc to solve the gateway engine on Desilo. You'll be rewarded with the Desolar palette and visor for this one, along with the Mash It Up emote dance. 8. Kalidor Awakened. A little digging, a little explosive powder, and you have solved the gateway engine on Kalidor and unlocked another one. 3rd suit is your reward for unlocking this achievement, and along with the Calor palette and Lone Missus emote dance. 9. Visania Awaken. Okay, you might be picking up on a little pattern here. Use some graphene and solve the gateway engine on Visania. With this achievement, you'll unlock the appropriately named exotic suit along with the Fasania palette and the break and emote dance. Ten. Novus Awaken. Take some silicone to Novus and go solve the gateway engine.
You will be rewarded with the Novus palette and visor for this one, along with the Astro style emote dance. 11. Glacio Wicked. Visit Ha- uh, I mean Glacio, and use a couple of diamonds to solve the gateway engine on Glacio. If you're feeling a bit chilly after visiting Glacio, then change to a Tundra suit that you just unlocked with this achievement. You'll also be awarded the Glacio Palette and the Dance Nobility Emo Dance. 12. Aatrox Awakened. What's with all this awakening? Were the plants asleep? Anyway, use some hydrogen and solve the gateway engine on Aatrox. This achievement also unlocks the Radiated Suit, along with the Aatrox Palette in the Crisp Princess Emote Dance. <laughs> 13. Now you see me. Use any odd stone to teleport from one place to another. Congrats, you've just utilized the Gateway Fast Travel Network and unlocked an achievement from it. 14. To Infinity. Seven cores, seven gateway engines, solve all of the gateway engines, Mr. Lightyear. But remember, it's still not flying. It's falling with style. 15. And beyond. We're still not going to show you what happens when you activate the final odd stone on the unidentified satellite, but when you do it, you'll unlock this achievement, and as you pass through the gateway portal to the unknown, you'll unlock the galactic palette and visor with this achievement. Much purple. Oh, and you'll also learn the twisted up emo dance. 16. Exodynamic Solar System Mastery. Obtain every achievement in Ash Nier to unlock this one. With it, you also unlock the very appropriately named Overachiever Palette. Aren't you a shiny little tryhard? 17. The First Discovery. So, grab some steel and build a probe scanner. Then use the probe scanner to find one of the mysterious vintage probes on any planet or moon of your choice. But we like Kalidor, because the Hubble Telescope is cool. 18. The Wanderer's Way. You'll unlock this final achievement once you have said hello to the Wanderer. Did you notice that fancy suit the Wanderer was wearing? You can wear it too once you've unlocked this achievement. Each object you activate with the probe scanner during the Wanderer adventure will also unlock a palette, including blue on Silva, teal on Glacio, green on Aatrox, yellow on Desilo, orange on Kalidor, red on Novus, fuchsia on Visania, and gray as a reward for interacting with the Wanderer himself. And if all of that wasn't enough, you'll unlock the super cool Take a Picture emote that lets you take a picture without even using a camera. And with these 18 achievements complete, you should now be able to breeze right through all 56. You should also have some spiffy new duds to change into, and seriously, please change your suit. Your friends have told us your current suit is starting to smell pretty bad. There are a few other palettes and visors you may have seen Astroneer sporting, but those are not linked to achievements. Instead, they're linked to purchases, platform, or previous limited time events. We'll talk more about these suits in our final course, Astroneer Academy 406. Alright guys, I have to get back to theorizing about everything this solar system has to offer. I also have to get out of here because I can get in pretty easily, but staying in takes a lot of work and I'm very tired. So, uh, yeah, see you guys later. As Exodynamics has shared the latest in 25th Century Network security with us. Except he just did it again. <sighs> oh well, at least this is the final achievements course. But it does cause me to pause and wonder, why is Shaib so obsessed with hacking the achievement videos? I have it on good authority that he hasn't even taken the time to complete them all himself. At any rate, Shaib mentioned we'd be covering a bunch of other suits and palettes in next week's course, and... That's partially correct. We will be talking about a few of them next week, but there are some cosmetic items that, while not tied directly to an achievement, still had to be unlocked through taking a part in an event. So before we wrap up today's course, let's take a look at those items. The Sunrise and Sunset palettes and visors were a part of the limited time event tied to the summer update of 2019. You simply needed the venture into the solar system as an astroneer after the release of that update and before September 6, 2019 to unlock them. 
The Spooky Palette Advisors were awarded to all Astroneers after the release of the Groundwork Update and before November 15, 2019. Going along with it, the Pumpkin Visor was unlocked by planting the Spooky Squash during the limited time event. The Vintage Red Palette and Vintage Emblem Visor were acquired by interacting with the Apollo Lunar Module that we discussed in Astronaut Academy 404 and was a time-limited reward between July 18th and September 6, 2019. The Frosty Palette was unlocked by earning the Project Cheer Recovery Mission goal of 400 personal recovery points during the limited time event that ran from December 16, 2019 to January 17, 2020. Astroneers were also able to unlock the Frosty Visor and Mask for 2,500 recovery points, and the Holiday Top Hat was awarded for reaching a community total goal of 100 million recovery points. A handful of cosmetics were unlockable during the Salvage Initiative limited time event that ended on June 14. 2020. You could obtain the formal attire hat for 1,500 points, the turret apporter mask for 5,000 points, and the salvage chic palette for 8,000 points. The EXO Automated Mass Production Protocol limited time event began on June 24, 2020 and was extended until the middle of August 2020. This limited time event rewarded you with the VR Vision Mask, Gearhead Hat, and Metal Gear Visor. And that wraps it up for all of the achievements and unlockables available to Astroneers as of the date this course went live. We will continue to update the Astroneer Academy textbook with any future achievements and unlockables, so be sure to check out the link to the textbook in the description down below. In our final course next week, we will update information and correct any mistakes from previous videos and take a look at a couple of topics that did not fit neatly into any of our previous courses. And once all of that is finished, we will conclude the series with a very special guest commencement speaker. But until then, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.